Good morning, welcome to Gridbusters. So today we hope to complete putting the solar panels on the roof. It is uh, gonna be a really sunny day today. And thanks to all the amazing comments because somebody was suggesting, suggesting that we cover up some of the solar panels because if it's sunny and then we connect the MC4 connectors together, particularly the last couple of panels, we have several hundred volts running through that cable. And if it's a little bit wet, because there was dew last night, um, you know, during the night, there might be a, like an arc or a spark. So what we're actually going to do in a minute is put some, um, I've got some dust sheets, we're going to put those over a, a few of the panels on the string. That will bring the voltage right down. Even if you just cover a couple of panels up in the string, that still brings the voltage right down. Um, and then that will make it safe to work on uh, when we connect up the last couple of panels in these uh, strings. So that's the first thing we're going to uh, <laughs> crack on with this morning. And then later on, we hope to get the final eight panels installed uh, over there, um, which is just the, the last uh, string. But that's going to be particularly difficult because it's a single string going all the way along the ridge and we've got nothing to stand on. We've actually been standing on the rails installing these uh, panels, which has made it quite easy. So we're going to have to use two roofing ladders and I don't know, we'll, I'm sure we'll work it out. <laughs> but um, hopefully we'll get it all done today. So we're putting these, uh, this dust sheet over the panel just to drop the voltage down whilst we connect uh, the next panels. But it's quite windy up here, even though it's not a windy day. Uh, I think we're going to need some more clamps. We're making great progress with the roof, but it started uh, to get incredibly windy. It's not windy down here, but up there it is very windy. And when handling solar panels, they kind of can act a bit like a sail. Uh, so we've decided to stop and, uh, with the solar panel insulation for today. And instead, what we're going to do this afternoon is sort out the trunking fiasco. <laughs> so in case you didn't see the last video, uh, we, we needed to put some cable in the underground trunking between the barn and the plant room. And we were pulling that cable through. Uh, it's an existing trunking, which I laid a couple of years ago, and the cable got stuck. And it turns out that the underground trunking has uh, partially collapsed, and I've put too many 90 degree bends in it. So um, it's something that we can't use. So that entire cable trunking run actually now needs to be completely replaced. So that's something uh, we're gonna work on today. This time when we dug the trench for the underground trunking, we decided not to do it on the, on the driveway, simply because the last one had collapsed, the last trunking had collapsed due to heavy vehicles going over it and my Tesla, which weighs several tons, uh, I'm sure that contributed to the last trunking uh, collapsing. So we did this one on the lawn. Uh, and you, you can also notice that it's slightly wider um, at the at near the barn there. And that is to allow for um, an earth connection, uh, which I will show you later. Um, now, uh, at this point in the filming, um, I started to feel rather ill um, and uh, there was a, a terrible wind coming down here. It was incredibly windy this day, although it doesn't really look that windy on camera, but it was very, very windy. Um, so yeah, I, I'd actually come down with a really bad cold, wasn't feeling great. So I took a little bit of a back seat and, and let Jude get on with it. Um, and uh, I didn't appear in front of the camera for this section. So uh, yeah, so Jude is cutting here um, the trunking and putting in an inspection box. This is just one I had knocking around in the barn for several years and thought I might as well use it. And this allows us to pull the cable through, um, through the trunking run into the inspection hole. 
and then push it up into the plant room so you can see here and this is uh, great when you have a 90 degree bend or something so rather than putting a 90 degree bend directly into the pipe um, we have this inspection hole um, and it's actually proved to be really good since uh, we've done this I pulled another cable through and it's very easy you, you just take the lid off you pull the cable through which is a straight run to the inspection hole and then you poke it through into the building uh, manually and it all seems to work really well um, so so yeah this this is a, a great system um, for feeding cable much better than than the old one uh, very very easy now to feed cable uh, so what we, we decided to actually put the cable in uh, before we um, uh, you know covered the pipe up just to make life easier we weren't sure how easy it was going to be to put cable in but later we discovered it was actually very easy because we got halfway through the job and then I realized that hey you know why don't we put some extra cable in for future solar panels Uh, we did have one bend in the pipe and rather than putting a connector in we actually just bent the pipe and um, again this has worked really well it's smooth on the bottom um, but on the top it's slightly you can see a, like a fold in the pipe there but that doesn't really matter because when we're pulling the cable through it's it's rubbing against the bottom there um, so that's worked really well just bending um, the pipe manually like this And you can see here the earth connection which I've put in. So I've put two um, earth spikes in and then a loop of uh, earth cable. That's the regulations here in France. And that is the earthing system for the solar panel system. So thanks for all your comments, by the way. This is something I picked up in the comments. Rather than using the house ground um, from my fuse box, I put in a separate ground for the solar system. Um, so yeah, you, you can do either actually. I've, I've read the Victron manual and, and all the, you know, for, for the solar system and they say you can do either. Um, but because the solar panels are so far from the plant room, I've, I've decided, I think, it, yeah, it's going to be better to put in a separate um, earthing system closer to the solar panels uh, directly. So that, that's kind of like why I've done that. And then this was the final job, just to drilling up the uh, floor in the plant room. Um, and then that is the trunking there. Um, but yeah, you, you can see it, it's all worked out really well. Um, and, and that's basically the finished job. Wow, after a day and a half of work, we managed to install the new trunking. Much more of a direct route to, uh, than the old uh, trunking. We've, we've tried to keep it as much in a straight line as possible. And we put that, that inspection chamber in. And in fact, it, it, we, you know, the cable here was slightly too long and it was too short at the other end. So we pulled it back and it was very easy, very easy to pull it back through, which is fantastic. So the next job is gonna be wiring up this end of the cables and wiring up the other end of the cables. We still have six more panels to install, which should only take us, I reckon, about two hours to do. Jude and I are going to do that tomorrow morning, provided that the, it's not pouring with rain and it's not windy. We've had some bad weather over the last uh, several days, so that's kind of held us up. Plus, you know, with me not feeling well as well, that, that's, uh, you know, held up the filming as well. I'm really sorry about that. Tried to get as much uh, footage as I could over the last few days of what's been going on. But uh, obviously, you know, <laughs> being a bit under the weather, I didn't want to be out in the howling wind um, filming. Uh, when I wasn't well, uh, but yeah, I think you know, I think it's uh, everything's gone well, um, and hopefully we should. I'm hoping that we can get everything finished later this week, which would be fantastic. Now, uh, like I said, we did have a massive problem with the underground trunking for the solar cables, and I did address that in the previous video. If you want to see exactly what went wrong with the old trunking. And you know, if you want to see exactly, you know, we, we attempted to pull some cables through and it all went horribly wrong. If you'd like to see what happened in that video, you can do so right here. <laughs> 